Dalian, China, Chinese consumers are tightening their belts amid the global economic uncertainty created by the trade war with the U.S., avoiding American vacations and automobiles as President Donald Trump turns up the pressure, it feels like customers are staying away from U.S. Brands, a manager at a General Motors dealership here said, GM and its joint ventures delivered 835,934 vehicles in China during the July to September quarter, with sales down nearly 15% on the year. The automaker, which perennially wrestles with Volkswagen for the Chinese crown, could suffer a decline in full-year sales. A recall of about 3.3 million vehicles beginning this month will also likely deal a blow. New auto sales in China have fallen for two straight months since July, according to data from the China Association of Automobile Manufacturers. The organization has downgraded its 2018 passenger car sales forecast to a 1% drop from an increase. Chinese consumers also stayed away from the U.S. during the National Day holiday from October 1st to October. 7. America was the fifth most popular foreign destination during last year's break, the top spot outside Asia, but dropped to 10th this year, according to leading online travel agency, CTRIP. Average spending by Chinese tourists per outbound trip in the first half of 2018 fell 14.2% to around $758 from $883 for all of 2017, CTRIP and the government-affiliated China Tourism Academy Research Institute found. A softer yuan has had a dramatic impact on purchasing power, a big factor constraining Chinese spending on tourism abroad. The week-long National Day break is a predictor of Chinese consumption as one of the country's biggest shopping seasons, along with the Chinese New Year. The breaks have also been slammed on China's movie market. Demand had grown rapidly since 2015 with the expansion of the middle class. China is increasingly expected to overtake the U.S., the world's largest film market, given sluggish sales there. But that future will likely be deferred as economic uncertainty, scandals and greater censorship take a toll. Box office revenues began to turn down last month with a year-on-year -year decrease, followed by disappointing National Day sales. Box office revenues from October 1st to October 7th sank 21% on the year to 1.89 billion yuan, $273 million, according to Ent Group. The research company specializing in Chinese entertainment partly blamed a lack of hits and costly tickets, it's expensive, so I don't want to go again for a while, said a 28-year-old office worker from Dalian who had just seen Hello, Mrs. Money with his wife on October. 3. Public interest was high in the sequel to one of last year's major hits, but the film felt pricey because it did not live up to expectations, the man said. Chinese movies are relatively cheap at about 30 yuan, $4.35, but consumers are still cutting back. Box office revenues during the holiday plunged roughly 40% on the year in the northern provinces of Liaoning, home to Dalian, Jilin and Heilongjiang, where the economic slowdown has been severe. The heavier hand of the ruling Communist Party will also weigh on the industry. The party's publicity department took over operations from the now-defunct state administration of press, publication, radio, film and television in March, curtailing the relative freedom filmmakers had previously enjoyed. Audiences will shrink further should there be a flood of works that more closely toe the party line. The business is also suffering from the scandal involving actress Fan Bingbing, recently fined hundreds of millions of yuan for tax evasion. Her movies have stopped screening, and shares of such major studios as Wavi Brothers Media and Zhejiang Talent Television.